Brother, he brought out a perfect point with this right here because as long as you and y'all, we as a nation, not just you all individually, us individually, but us as a nation, when we're in sin, they know that they have power over us. But our power is our connection, sis, towards our God, brother. You understand? Give me that real quick in Jude chapter 5, verse 20. All right? Give me that. Uh, Jude, excuse me. Jude chapter 5, verse 20. Because when we connect back to our God, we start to fix the issues in our communities together. And then we, we nurture and we bring forth integrity or we fortify our communities with God's commandments. You understand? Which means this. I'm going to simplify what I just said. Well, you have you have any daughters or friends, girls, friends or anything like that? You have a daughter, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to raise your daughter to expect to get married by a righteous man. You understand? Right. Right. And you're going to teach her good values like keeping God's commandments so that she can, ex can inspire to bring something to the table. Right. You understand? Instead of these modern day women today, they want men to do something for them. You understand what I'm saying? But no, it should be the other way around. We work together. Or like, likewise, you got sons? No kids? Okay, you got homeboys and friends, right? Uh, I wouldn't say friends. Associates? Yeah. Brothers you know? I around the way, I, I know how it is, all right? You, gotta, you can't trust everybody, right? So look, check this out. You'll be able to be an example for the men around you. You understand? Right. By showing an example of a righteous man. When they know that you are disconnected from your roots, our, our ancestry and our heritage, they know that they got us. Right. When we think that this is the other way around, a man and a woman, they're the same or equal, or same-sex marriage, or a man could be a woman and a woman could be a man nowadays, it continues the confusion in our communities. Read the verse. Come on, read. This is the book of Judith in the Apocrypha, chapter 5 and verse 20. Bring it out. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people. If there be any error, that error in this people, us. It's talking about our ancestors. If there be any sin in this people, read. This is what the nations know about us, read. And they sin against their God. There you go. The error is if we sin against our God, how do we sin against our God? First and foremost, we sin against our God because we still call ourselves African American. Right, right. And we do the sinful things that how when we were taught to be African Americans. Let's just talk about some of the things. When they called us African Americans or Africans, right? Or Americans, one of the things that they taught us to do was have sex until you die. They bred us like dogs. Right, right. So up. today, that gene of having a high uh, a volume of a sex, sex drive and all this kind of stuff like that, we sleep from woman to woman to woman. These women sleep from man to man to man. Bring it and what do you have in our society today? Single parent household. Bring it out. Right. So we facilitate the let's think about the files that's in the um uh the files that's in the uh what you call it the uh child support system. Right. We fill it up. Think about the crime that's in these uh, prison houses, in the prisons. We fill it up. Right. Think about the abortion rates. Right. We fill it up. Right. When you look at the files and the details, you understand? These nations, that's over us. They know as long as we are in sin, they got us. Right. Right. Read that part from the verse. Uh, read that part of the verse again. Read. Yes, up sir. from the top. Yes, sir. Now, therefore, my Lord and governors, if there be any error in this people, and they sin against their God, let us consider that they shall be their ruin. Look, they said these nations, the white man knows that as long as we are in sin, what they promote on BET, right, all the time, and sports and all that, homosexuality, and um, killing each other, the rap music, as long as we are in sin, they know they got us. Right. They have an advantage over us. Right. right. As long as you don't know the difference between this, they got you. Right. Because now you don't know how to be a man in your house. Now you don't know how to be a submissive woman towards a man in the household. Right. Read on, come on. And let us go up, and we shall overcome them. That's how they know they can't overcome you now. Because why? When we are in sin. Right. And how do we fix our community? We keep God's commandments. Right. That's right. Thou shalt not kill, don't kill your brothers. Right. Thou shalt not steal, we ain't robbing each other. Right. Now look. I'm going to get a job. You need a job? I got you, bro. Work for me, man. Bring it out. Now, you ain't got to rob nobody. Right. Don't commit adultery. I'm not going to sleep with your wife because I love you. I ain't going to destroy your family. Right. 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 But we like that. You understand? Not worshiping no other gods. We ain't celebrating no white man's Christmas no damn more. Right. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Because it all facilitates and it promotes 
the white agenda, right. white supremacy. Right. And we're going to come back to what God told us to do. That's, that's Keep true. reading. Come on. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, uh -huh. let my Lord now pass by. See, now they know the flip side. If there be no sin, iniquity in this nation, let what? No iniquity pass by. Uh -huh. Let the Lord defend them. Hold on. When we in our righteousness, God will do what? Read that line again. Let the Lord defend them. God yes. defends you when you're in righteousness. That's right. Because you're going to gather with other men and you're going to join that army, brother. That's, That's, right. Right. That's what we're talking about right now. It's time for you to take your number and join the war. Right. And you ain't alone. This ain't no battle that you can fight on your own. Because you got... This Bible, your faith and loyalty, the brothers around you, and the angels that you can't even see right now. Right. It's so much power that's around us. We it's 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 it's, it's a no reason why we should fear anything on this planet. Right. Without being connected to God, our, our ancestors. Let's just take it, Martin Luther King, the 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 the, the uh, Malcolm X era, Marcus Garvey area. Even in our ignorance, we was able to overcome, right? right? Why do you think every single generation we always trying to get out of the sense of oppression? Right. Get out. Because we are not a people that's supposed to be oppressed. Right. We are a free people, but society deems otherwise. Keep reading where you at. Come on. And their God be for them. Uh -huh. hey, look. And it says, and their God be for them. So when we are in sin, our God ain't for us. That's why I say one of the sins that your brother pointed out was this. According to Deuteronomy 22 verse 5, you ain't supposed to be in pains. And the agenda that's promoted these days, brother, is that, that's not like a smoke, a smoke a tire or something. Yeah. Um, the, the, the agenda that's promoted today, brother, is that they want you brothers to think that you are women nowadays. Right. Right. All right? To identify as a damn woman. And it's not about you because you know it's wrong. You know who they're trying to get? Are you? Right. The kids. Get out. You understand what I'm saying? Keep reading where you at. And we become a reproach before all the world. Hey, so look, what I just went through right now is as long as we in our, in our righteousness, we have power. One more verse real quick. Isaiah 45, 40, 42, verse uh, 21. My favorite scripture real quick. Bring it up. Bring it up. Because God is trying to recruit you, brother, and you, sister, back to his salvation. That's right. Back to the joy of his everlasting salvation. That's right. How do you receive salvation? You must keep the commandments and the belief of your Lord and Savior, a black man named Christ. Christ died for you. He put his life down on the line for you so you can re remember and realize that somebody for God was able to put down his life so that you can do it as well. How Christ died for you, you're supposed to be able to die for him in righteousness. You understand what I'm saying? Think about it. It's like a brother or family member that laid his life down for you so you can continue to live. So that don't mean that we go back to the same situation that brought the death. You understand? Meaning sin. The wages of sin is death. God chose you to magnify and make this word of his famous on the planet. That's right. Read this real quick. Come on. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, and verse 21. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness sake. So God is pleased when you worship in, in righteousness to him. You understand that? When you do what you're supposed to do, towards God by submitting yourself to a man and listen to men let them lead you you understand no not just any man though a righteous man right, not right. just no false pastors the prophets of God that's actually teaching you this Bible that's you understand because there's a place for you sis in the kingdom of God yes, look right. bro we went into slavery with our women we coming out with them that's right, right. sister we went into slavery uh, y'all went into slavery with us we coming out of slavery into salvation, our kingdom, right. with us. You understand that? Y'all right. coming with us. We getting in and out of this together. Yeah. All right? Brother Jeremiah, what's good, brother? Good to see you, man. Just talk to you on the phone. Just stand to the side, all right? I'll praise you. You good, you good. Wrap it up with the brother. I start talking to him on the phone. I'll praise to the most high. Hey, listen, so look, this is for you, bro. God wants you to keep the commandments and be an example for your community, 
to be the example of righteousness, sis. You understand that? On what to do, on what not to do. This is the answer. This is the last movement you ever gonna see on the planet. Right. Read. He will magnify the law and make it honorable. Go ahead. Read it again. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness sake. God is pleased when you do the things that are righteous unto him. Read on, come on. He will magnify the law and make it honorable. He will magnify the law and make it honorable because you are going to keep his law. Right. People are going to look at you as the example of righteousness. You understand that? They're going to look, dang, something got it. What's your name? Daniel. Something got to be special about Daniel because he used to be doing this. But now that brother, he down with these other brothers and they teaching God's word. Right. He, changed, he got a job now, a better job now. He getting himself together. He got a house. He got a family. He got a wife. And he teaching the youth in this community. He changing the people that he know. I don't know who you know. You understand that? So but when you connect with God's word to the people you know, our community change. That's, That's what God is talking about. Nation is men leading by example.